Okay, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Dan Hyman. I'm with uh, Custom Mechanical Systems. We're based in Milpitas, California. It's the uh, Silicon Valley area of California. And uh, tell us a little bit about your company. What's the, the background and history of, your, of uh, CMS? We've been around for a long time making custom air conditioning products. What custom means is, is uh, when something, a catalog product that uh, is mass produced, if, if, a, if a user has uh, different needs, uh, we make a custom solution for each different user. We've been involved in data centers for several years now. Uh, as the densities, the electrical densities and the heat removal requirements have grown over the years, we've gotten more and more involved in, in conditioning data centers. Um, so tell us a little bit about uh, the, the, the products and technologies you're, you're talking about here at the show. Well, the, the biggest thing we're doing is, um, is, is we've taken the tack that the, the, the most important thing going forward for data centers is energy usage, or reliability, obviously but after that energy usage. And instead of trying to build a box with lots of cold plating and features that people may or may not use, we've taken the tack that, that we're gonna build the most efficient box out there. The product we're displaying today is what's called an in-rack cooler. It's a relatively new way of conditioning a data center where the air is taken directly from the hot aisle, cooled and distributed right into the cold aisle with no duct work. There's a lot of fan energy savings available. By, by cooling the data center that way. Uh, can you show us how it works? Yeah, very simply. It's uh, basically these guys here would be standing in the hot aisle where the servers have just dumped the hot air that was used to cool them off. That air is then sucked back into the inlet where the, the young man in the blue shirt is standing, and it goes through the unit uh, where it's cooled off by a chilled water coil, and then it's distributed out into the, what'll be the cold aisle where the guy with the white shirt is standing. So this, this would then be right in the... Uh, we would uh, be standing in a server rack basically here. Look to your right, to our right, would be the cold aisle where the air is, is brought back into the server rack. To the left would be the hot aisle where the warm air comes out. So uh, tell us about uh, what kind of installations you've done with this and, and uh, what, kind of, uh, uh, what kind of results you're seeing. Well, the unit you're looking at or we're looking at is one of 300 or approximately 300 that we're building for a new data center for Brocade Communications in San Jose. They selected our equipment uh, mostly because of the energy usage. The other product that they seriously considered used approximately 3.3 kW to provide 40 kW of cooling. Uh, our unit requires about 0.7 kW, about one-fourth, less than one-fourth. Uh, energy to provide the same amount of cooling. The other thing they liked is the fact that we were able to customize it. They had some features that their facilities the department wanted. These are the guys that have to maintain the equipment and keep it working and we put in some things that we're going to make their life easier at a very little cost since everything we do is custom. So what are the considerations that usually lead a data center uh, operator to think about one of your custom solutions as opposed to some of the, the, the other uh, solutions out there? I think in most cases it's somebody that is trying to figure out how to build a green building, how to save energy, and, and the traditional solutions are, are not the lowest energy solutions. So we've, we've come up with some ways using more efficient fan technology to save a lot of energy, and that's, that's typically where we get involved, where somebody's concerned about the overall energy usage. And. Uh, and what do you see as the, as the most important considerations in trying to design cooling systems going forward here? To me, it's, and we heard about it in session after session today, to me it's, it's the flexibility. The, the centers are changing so quickly. The IT requirements in the centers are changing so quickly that there, there has to be flexibility. And people need to be thinking about systems that can be changed as the layouts change, as the densities change, as the heating loads change. Okay, thanks a lot, Dan. Thank you. Appreciate it, Rich. Thanks for your time.